Hey guys, it's Ali here coming to give you guys a quick tutorial on um, how I straighten my hair in the morning. And it's kind of early right now and as you can tell my hair is looking kind of crazy. Um, I had washed it already and I conditioned it when I was taking a shower. And now that my hair, when my hair was damp, I sprayed some Aussie Sun Touch Shine. And it's a conditioning shine spray. Let me tell you guys. I've been using this for about two weeks now. I love this product. This product leaves my hair feeling so shiny, soft. It looks a lot more healthier. And this is, I definitely recommend this product. Um, so, yeah. Get this. So, I leave that. I spray that in um, on my ends. And I let it, I let my hair air dry. I don't blow dry my hair anymore. Even if you have to go to sleep with your hair wet, do it because too much heat is going to damage your hair as we already know. So this is what, how, what I do. After my hair is dry, or semi-dry right now, it's dry, I spray some of the Tresemme heat tamer spray. What's this like? Got it for Target a couple of, a couple of bucks. And minimize heat damage. So first, I'm gonna have my bangs pulled back for easy and manageable. Now, as you guys know, my computer is off the market. I still haven't been able to get it fixed. Then again, I haven't had time to get it fixed. So I um have to do this fast because editing. I don't have an editor where I am for the computer that I'm using. So unless I download one, but. I'm not going to go through all that hassle. So what I'm doing is, I put my hair half up. I have um, some hair down. I am using the Chi hair straightener. Love this thing. I've had this thing for about a year or so. And let me tell you, I could tell the difference from when I use something other than a Chi. And this thing, I've dropped it so many times. And it actually started to break. And I have, you see a little chip? here too. I dropped this and the plate came apart. And I cried about it, went to go buy a new um, straightener and I just couldn't do it. I couldn't spend another $150 on a hair straightener knowing that I'm going to keep breaking it and dropping it. So my boyfriend went and put um, some kind of work super glue that he has and it's like new again. And it's doesn't, the glue has, hasn't affected my hair. And actually, my hair's a lot softer. So, I don't know. Go figure. Anyway, back to the hair straightening part. So, my hair's pretty straight. It's dry. We take the um, strainer and I just run it through my hair. Let's so. Pretty fast since my hair is semi-straight. My hair used to be straight, 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 black, 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 but, um, I dyed it one too many times, I damaged it by doing perm after perm, and not straight perm, curly perm, to make my hair curly, so that's why I have some waves with I haven't done it in about two years, so my hair grows, my hair grows so slow, well, oh, it used to grow slow, now it's growing faster with the, the vitamins I've been taking. But I wouldn't have to do all this if I would have just kept it easy with all the damaging stuff that I did to it. So now we take the next section and go through your hair again. The smaller sections you take, the better if you have curlier hair or textured hair. I don't have textured hair that much. My hair is starting to slowly get back to its normal texture. So I can take a little bit um, thicker strands since my hair is starting to get straight. And let me just tell you, if you use a lot of um, heat chemicals in your hair, you're going to damage it. I don't care what kind of straightener you use, what kind of hair dryer how much money you spent on products, your hair is going to be damaged. And, unfortunately, 
there's nothing really we can do about it. Especially if we're a female that we like to straighten our hair and do all these crazy things to it. So I highly suggest that you do plenty of treatments. And when I say treatments, I don't want to tear my nose. You um, go to the store and buy a leave-in conditioner or mask. I go to my local um, hair salon and they're Spanish. And they have the best stuff. The best um, leave-in um, conditioner in the world. I found some like Colombian stuff that they had used, and I had a picture of a snail on it, and it said "Baba," the whatever, however you say snail in Spanish. I don't know because my Spanish is horrible, but um, that worked wonders on my hair. Like it brought it back to normal, not to normal, but it brought my hair health back. Cause it was dying. It really was. Lately, I've been using, or I used this a, few, uh, a couple of times, the bone marrow. This is by L'Amour, and it's a deep penetrating treatment. I have, uh, you have no idea how much money I spent. Actually, the stuff that I usually use is my hair. I think I learned this from my mom. But I couldn't tell you how much money I have saved on in my hair between chemical products to try and make it um, look nicer to damaging products that I use is horrible. Such a waste of money. We should just leave it, leave our hair and leave ourselves looking the way God intended us to be and leave it at that because the things we do to stay beautiful is ridiculous as women. It really is. Basically, that is how I do my hair. Make sure I got the back pieces in. I am so sorry, I'm chewing like a cow right now. I just realized when I looked in the mirror. Um, I am going to leave my bangs up because I don't feel like wearing them today. Just get a little piece. I'm going to shine. It looks decent. Now what I'm going to do is add a little bit of the cheese silk infusion. This is what it looks like. Everybody already knows, so I'm not going to go into detail about it. I'm just going to use a pea drop. A little pea shake. Rub it in my fingers. And just work on the end because that is what's most damaged. Your hair already has natural oil, so but then like a few days that you don't wash your hair, um, your hair, your oils will go down to your hair, and you don't want your hair to be that greasy, especially if you're putting silk or the silk infusion in it. So yeah. That's what I have. Oh, I want to show you guys how cute this shirt is. Isn't that adorable? It almost looks like Selena, the Spanish singer. I love her. Her music was awesome. But anyway, yeah. So that is how I straight my hair usually in the morning. Somebody requested a book. I forgot who it was. I am so sorry. I will try and find your username and put it out in the description box. A little shout out to you. I do apologize. I am working on so many um different um requests. So yeah. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.